The first time I got ready to launch into space, I was on a space shuttle. So I was launching out of the uh, Kennedy Space Center in Florida. It's an amazing thing to walk up to the orbiter that's been fully fueled and ready to go. You can hear things clicking and banging and steam coming off of it. And it's, it's, it's very exciting to hear this vehicle that's really alive. Six seconds before the actual launch, um, the main engines fire. And they actually tilt the vehicle. And these are the liquid-fueled engines at the bottom of the orbiter. And once the orbiter gets back to upright vertical, that's when the solid rocket boosters fire. When the solid rocket boosters ignited, there was no question we were going somewhere fast. <laughs> because uh, you, you felt like you leapt off of the launch pad. It only takes eight and a half minutes, which is amazing to me, to get to orbit. You're really gaining a lot of speed in that amount of time, going from zero to about 17,500 miles an hour. During the last three, three minutes or so of that eight and a half minutes, you feel about three Gs will build up and be pressing on you. And it's through your chest, so you, know, you don't feel like you're gonna pass out or anything, but it does make it harder to breathe. I always say it's equivalent to three dudes sitting on your chest <laughs> and you're trying to breathe. But then once you're in orbit, uh, all that goes away. The main engine's cut off and, and we're floating. My first task I had to do was immediate. I had to get up to the flight deck and get a camera and a, and a video camera out uh, to take pictures of the external tank as it was floating away from the orbiter. And I had it all choreographed in my head. You know, I took off my gloves, took off my helmet, and had Valeria holding them while I floated up because I didn't need the stairs anymore. Floated up and you know opened the locker to get the camera and the video camera out. Handed the camera off and I get the video camera up and I see the earth out there and I'm like, oh my God, it's so beautiful. I can't believe it. And I'm like supposed to be taking pictures of the external tank with the camera. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> Trying to take, do two things, watch the earth and, and, uh, <laughs> and to uh, get the external tank at the same time. I use the analogy often that um, it's like I lived my whole life in semi-darkness and somebody turned the light on in the room. That's what the difference in the colors, the textures, the sensation of the colors and the textures just is so much more dramatic. And then doing a spacewalk, you're going outside in your own little spaceship. You could have just the, your visor between you and, and nothing <laughs> and the world below. And it's like you walked out onto a street, a sunny, bright day. And to me, that's the difference in the quality and the character of the light, the, what you see. Uh, it is just so much more amazing uh, than anything we have here. So you've got to go. <laughs>